If you want to know how to design your boxes in Canva and where to print them, then you're in the right place. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to prepare your design for the boxes, how to actually create and design your boxes and where to print them. Hey you guys, I am so excited about today's video. A lot of you have been asking me over the last few years if I use a company or if I know of a company that has boxes. Well, the company that I used to print all my cards finally has boxes and I am so pleased with the quality just like I shared with you guys before the quality of their work is just amazing I had printed these cards they're called I am affirmation cards back last year with them and I love them so in order to do this video I'm going to have to share with you guys my new creation I haven't really announced it to the world yet I haven't I don't even have a store to sell them I have nothing but I did order a proof of what my new cards are going to look like and I am just in love with it I did a very small deck and it's called cards for writers and they are just mm, adorable and okay so I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see what it actually looks like but up close this is what the box looks like and then I'll share with you the cards inside okay guys so this is what the box looks like I created a very small deck I only have 30 cards and as you can see I did mine square you can pick from different sizes I will share all that information with you guys in a minute but as you can see the box is really nice and sturdy great quality and just very very sturdy so this is what we're going to design today I'm going to show you how to design the front and the back and it's going to be really simple and you guys are going to be so happy plus I'm going to give you a discount code let's just go ahead and jump on my computer right now so I can show you how to create this awesome box the first thing you're going to do is go to carddeckprinting.com. I will leave it in the description box below for you guys. This is the same company that I use for my I Am Affirmation cards. So the reason we're here is because you're wanting to first download the template for the box. So you're in the home screen. You're going to go new, start here, select packaging options, and download the free box template. This is what it looks like when you download it. You're going to double click, open it, and see the different templates that there are. My size boxes, the one that I shared with you at the beginning of the video is 3.5 by 3.5. So this is the one that I would select. Now, depending on how many cards are in your deck, that is the template you're going to download. So my deck only has 30 cards. So this is the one that I would download. Once you're done downloading your template, you're gonna hop onto Canva you're going to go to create design custom size and you're going to select the size of your box which obviously if you've already created your deck you know the size of your box then you hit create new design I am NOT going to be focused on how to design a box as far as like the artistic way of it so I am just going to give you just a simple tutorial on how to create the design for your boxes you will know the design of your box based on the decks that you have created so what we are doing here is designing the images for our boxes this first image is going to be the front of our box so the first thing I'm going to do is just I'm going to design it depending upon the colors that I already have in mind based on the decks that I have already created so let's pretend I am going to have it be this color and then this is going to be the front of box. You will not write front of box. This is where you will design it as you please. So if you're going to add some art or different colors or you're going to perhaps write the name of the box, however you want your front of the box to look like, this is where you're going to do it. You're going to duplicate the page and this is going to be the back of box again design it as you want so after you're done doing that you are going to download the images in PNG so download it there might be another way of doing this I'm just not certain how to do it so this is the way I do it the next step is to actually create the template for your box so we're going to hop on back to the home page of Canva we're going to create a design and this time 
the size is going to be 12 by 9 inches so 12 by 9 inches and then hit create design the first thing you're going to do is you're going to figure out what color you want your entire box to look like let's pretend i want my box to have this color the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upload the two images that I already created. So those are the two images we just created and I'm uploading it. Now that you have everything uploaded, you would also need to upload your template. I already had my box template uploaded, but you will also have to upload this to Canva. So the first thing you're going to do is it's going to, as you saw, it pulls up in the middle. You're going to pull it to one corner. Let's just make this a little bigger so we can all see it. And then you're going to stretch it to the other corner like so. So as you can see, I pulled it from one corner to the other and I just adjusted it accordingly. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to pull over the image for your box. So the front of your box is going to look like this. Then you're going to pull the image over for the back of the box that you've created. Now let's say you want to add the name of the deck to the box. So let's say name of deck. Let's say you want it here. Let's make this a little bigger so you can see. We want to make sure the name is within these lines. So let's say we're gonna put it right there. Let's say you want the name on the side as well. Let's resize it to 15. Let's turn it around like this. And let's make sure again it's within those lines. Let's say you want to add the name to the other side as well. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's pull it over here. Let's resize it to 15. Let's turn it around. Let's pull it over. And as you can see, that's pretty much in line with that. And now that we have this super big like this, we can see, we can pull this over just a little, even make it a little bigger. This one too, a little bigger. And now everything is nice and aligned. And that's pretty much how you design your box. So the next step is once you have this exactly how you want it, you're going to go up here to duplicate page because they are going to need two images. One is going to have the template just as you see it, but the other one is not. So in order to get rid of all these lines, you're going to click on the page select this transparency up here and take it all the way down to zero. As you can see, now you have the same image, one with the template and one without. So what you're going to do now is you're going to download these two images in PDF format because then you're going to hop back onto the website and you're going to upload those two PDF documents. The first one is going to be your decks in PDF format, and then you're going to upload these two. So this is the way you do it. Download, change this to PDF. Make sure you click crop marks and bleed. And if you have the professional, meaning the paid version of Canva, you'll have this option and you'll just click download. If you don't have this option, you can download it without. So download. And this is what it will look like once you have it downloaded in PDF. As you can see, it's got the crop marks right here on both. Once you've got your images downloaded, you're going to head on back to the website. You're going to go to order products, custom card decks, and you're going to start placing your order. So you're going to start here, quantity of decks. This is one of the best things about this company is that you can order small quantities all other companies out there require you to order 100, 250, 500, if not more. So 
that is a great benefit of this company. So we're going to order a small quantity of 25. Next, you're gonna pick your size. As you can see here, there are different sizes. You can also do custom size if you want. I am going to select the one that I was working on, which is the 3.5 by 3.5. Next, it's how many cards are in your deck. I have 30 cards in my deck. Next, you're gonna pick your paper type, 14 digital cover. Then you're going to select if you want rounded corners or squared. I'm going to select rounded. Next, you get to select if you want your cards shrink wrapped or not. I'm going to select shrink wrapped. You can also select a bag, but we are doing boxes this time, so we're saying no bag. Then you're going to select your box style. We're going to select full color, dura silk, printed box, custom provided, customer provided artwork. This is the one we've been working on. And then you're going to select if you want a proof or not. If you don't want a proof, if you think everything is all right, you don't want to check it out before you do your entire order, then say none. If you do want a proof, then you're going to select either one of these options. Then you're going to select your printing turnaround time. You can have it express two to three days, rush one to two printing days, or economy three to four days. As you can see, the price so far is $314.97, and that is even before you put in your coupon code. The next step is to upload your design. You're going to upload two things, your template, your box, and your deck. Then you're going to hit upload files, and then hit continue. It's gonna take you to the next page, which is the cart. This is where you have a chance to review your order. And this is where you put in your code to save 5% off your first order. So the code is going to be my name, M-A-R-I. You're gonna say apply coupon. And as you can see, it's going to save you $15.75 and then you proceed to checkout and that's where you're going to enter all your information. All right, you guys, that's it for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below and I will surely get back to you. I will see you again in a brand new video next time. Until then, God bless you.